Hi, I'm Michael Goddard. In this video, we're going to talk about a differential and how you can build one using Lego parts. Let's get started. For our first uh, demonstration, we have just two wheels that are uh, going to spin freely. Uh, you can see they're not connected or anything like that. And uh, this is actually how most front wheel drive vehicles have their back wheels. Uh, where, like I said, they just totally spin freely. There's no connected axle. And uh, it's really good for turning because as, as they, it can turn really sharply or turn gradually. Uh, the inner wheel can spin slower and the outer wheel can spin a little bit faster. So we'll kind of put that one up there. Our next model that we'll show you, uh, just a little bit different. It's, uh, you can see both of these wheels are connected uh, with a straight axle. Uh, that's really good if you grab one or the other, then both of them stop. Uh, that's, uh, that's good for some situations, but it's not really good for turning because if they turn, um, the outer wheel needs to go uh, faster and the inner wheel needs to go a little bit slower than the other one. And so what's going to happen is one of those is going to end up slipping and skidding. And so uh, this is really not an ideal situation. We don't really ever have anything that's going to use... Um, a wheel alignment like that. This situation is just a little bit different. Um, we do have um, an axle there, but you can begin to see we're getting a little bit more interesting. Um, we've got a gear here and then another gear here, and that is driving both of them. This one's kind of wobbly over here, but um, the point is, is that uh, you can see that they're both controlled by the shaft. You, grab one, then they both stop, grab the other, they stop. Um, in fact, it even, it also stops that shaft from spinning because they're connected. So uh, this also clearly has the same uh, problem with the other one is that uh, as you're turning, going around a corner, uh, one of those wheels is going to slip. Normally it's going to be that outer wheel, um, though it could be this inner wheel here because they this shaft is forcing them to, to rotate the same speed, but one of them is going to have to spin faster than the other. So the solution that some engineers have uh, figured out, mechanics, is uh, either have the, the wheels spin freely or you could attach them to uh, this mechanism, which is called a differential. So uh, the way that a differential works is it allows each wheel, uh, they are connected, but they spin freely here. Now this uh, differential is really not, not really useful. This is just sort of like a preliminary model to show you what uh, we're gonna have here in a second. But uh, you can see that they can both spin and uh, they can spin at different rates there. So turning is really easy. There's no, there's no sliding or anything like that. And uh, this one's spinning, this one's spinning, and uh, this is the beginnings of something really, really interesting. We'll show you a little more details of that in a second. Just to kind of give you a little bit closer idea of what that looks like. So this is the, uh, the Lego piece and what it requires is you take these little smaller uh, half bevel gears and put them on the inside. So uh, recently Lego Corporation has come up with a, a sort of a little bit of a new enclosure for that differential. So this is the newer uh, differential. And it does the exact same thing. You can see the left wheel and the right wheel can spin. They are connected. And this is where it gets pretty cool. You can, you can drive both of them, and we'll do that here in a second. But then uh, one of them will spin, or the other one will spin. But I would need to add a little bit of a better axle to show you what's going on with that. And I'll do that momentarily. Just so you can see what the inside looks like. Uh, the way that you build it is you just take one of these half beveled gears and put it in the side and then take these other guys and put those in there and then uh, oh I'm missing one more I need to put one on the top normally I'll get an axle to kind of jimmy them together so that they we know that they're all connected but then you can snap it together and that is what's inside that differential. Put that right here. Now this is where things get really interesting. So uh, I've got a drive shaft uh, driving this gear and that's connected 
to the differential. So, so we can see that as this drive shaft spins, it's rotating the differential around. And this is where it gets real interesting. If one of them stops or slips because it's getting maybe getting a little more friction or is the inside wheel on a turn, the other one's still spinning. How amazing is that? Or if I just continue to spin it and I grab this one, it still spins. So what this allows you to do is allows you to, uh, if, you're, if you're driving that gear, it allows you to, uh, to make turns and uh, the wheels will still uh, spin and they're allowed to provide you know, a force of motion to uh, your robot or to your vehicle. But that outer wheel will spin faster than the inner wheel and you're still, you're still driving both of them. Okay, And so that's the magic of the differential. Of course, yep, you know I had to show you here. This is that same thing, uh, but with the, the newer differential, and you can see I'm, I'm driving it with this uh, shaft here, spinning that gear, which is spinning that one, and now we'll kind of stop that one, but we're still turning. And then we go around this way, you can stop that one, but we're still turning, and then this one allows really smooth turns, no skidding. In uh, your normal, uh, you know, car vehicles like your vehicles, there's uh, if th this is what the front wheel drive is going to look like, uh, front wheel drive car. But these wheels are also going to be on some sort of uh, pivot system, which will allow them to turn some sort of steering system. That's going to have to wait for another video. But just wanted to show you uh, the amazing uh, feature of the differential and uh, the fact that you can build this with Legos. So good luck building. We'll see you next time.